All right, so we're all set now. What do you think, music or no music? No music. Okay. So for the first, first, let's do first 50 or so kills are normal. Next 50 have to do the pickup uh, each gun and use it for the next kill. Let me make a quick uh, knife only class here. Lightweight, and then we want. Uh, I guess fast hands will work, and then that, this, this, and we want, I guess, cold-blooded, and dexterity extreme conditioning, lethals, we'll go ahead and stick that on there, uh, flashies, might as well. We'll make our knife cherry blossom. It's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and get started. And this is the uh, 9v1 all recruit uh, 1,000 kill. I doubt we're going to get to 1,000. Maybe if I feel like it. After that, we might switch over to uh, maybe zombies or something. Hallie, Mixmaster Hallie on the chat. Team deathmatch. Weapon three. We've taken control. I'm not used to playing with the controller under the desk anymore. It's been so long since I've live streamed. I had to already do a practice round just to get back to playing Call of Duty to begin with. Let's see, we're at six. What are you doing? Wall bangs. Four days. So it's been... Oh, how long has it been since I last streamed? Definitely. The last stream I remember... Threat neutralized. Did you hear that? So you just can't see them? Should be, I say. You see, uh, that green, the green button, babe? Yeah. So, if that... Underneath it, it says, like, low latency, like a little warning pops up. Let me know. That's just our bad internet. Halfway. Stealth chopper awaiting order. Uh, the EVO I'm using, by the way, has a uh, suppressor and the uh, hair trigger and the uh, extended magazine. Even though Black Ops 2 loves to say it's an extended clip. When it is not. 
Changing. Just like the politicians that are like the 45 caliber assault clipazine. It's the shoulder thing that goes up, right? <laughs> Relevant. Drop them. Pro. CS go. Flashes there. Okay. Take off 42 to kill that guy. Hello. Man, that was gonna happen. Okay, we're at 45, and then we gotta start picking up, picking up guns. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Man, I can't. Fingers today. It is Thanksgiving Eve. Hallie, what are you giving thanks for? I'm giving thanks for a wonderful job and friends surrounding me through the high stress. Oh, I got the 51. Through the high stress that is college. And having an apartment with people that aren't all schmucks. I'm really sucking at picking these up. Okay, that's the same gun, it's just with a suppressor. Um, oh. What do you think, Hallie? Do you think that's good? What? I'm thankful for it. Do you think that sounds like I'm not too big of a person? Too big of a bad person? Shot out. I'm thankful for you too. So I guess I should tell the love story that is Hallie and I meeting. So I get off work one day and yeah, I get off work one day uh, and my best friend slash roommate is like, hey, come to cookout. And for those of you, I think Kentucky is actually the most northern is it most northern or most southern state that has cookout? Most northern. Most northern. So, it's a southeast United States kind of a thing, but we're lucky enough to have it. Uh, picture it as cheap college food, but you get a lot of it. So, for example, for $5.71, I can go and get a double cheeseburger and a quesadilla or chicken wrap or french fry, like, you, or chicken nuggets as a side. Like, it, there's tons of stuff you can get as a side. Um, anyways, you get two of those sides and a drink. And depending on your main entree, that's th that determines the price for the, uh, for the combo. So, like, uh, 571 is for the, uh, double cheeseburger. I think it's, like, 549 or something like that for regular stuff. Anyways... Uh, he's like, come to cookout, because we, we used to go there last semester uh, of college at like 3, 3 a.m., because that's the kind of place it is. Like, it's a 3 a.m. college meetup place. Uh, a lot of drunk college kids there normally. Anyways, we I go there, and I'm talking to him. We talk about life there. Um, I was talking to him about all kinds of stuff. We used to be both be in marching band, so we talk about band all the time. That's what band kids do is they talk about band every second of the day so after our normal talks of band and then uh we talked i showed him some reddit gifs uh specifically the one where it was like showing the different tank shells uh that tanks use like uh ap shells and uh all that other stuff and i um was talking and these uh, two girls come in one of them's a uh, red-headed girl uh, other one a brown-headed girl and she was mixed but you wouldn't be able to tell she was mixed she looked like she was Hawaiian or something like that real beautiful shade of mixture and she just smirked at me and rolled her eyes um, and sh um, they sit down at the table next to us 
so I don't pay any attention because I'm oblivious, oblivious to all this kind of stuff. And I'm just still talking to my buddy about tanks or whatever else we were talking about at the time. And after that um, discussion, I get the redhead passes a note to me. So we were sitting to where, if you're looking at the two tables, I was on the far right. Then my buddy was on the left of that table. And then on the next table, which is behind my buddy, sat the redhead. And then, was that right? And then it was the right head. And then my girlfriend, my soon-to-be girlfriend, she, uh, the red had passed a note to me. And it says, uh, here, actually, I have it right here. It says, my friend thinks you are pretty, smiley face, two gray shirts. I was wearing a gray UK shirt at the time. And it's got a lipstick print, only it wasn't. The girl who said she thinks I was cute uh, lipstick. It was her friend's lipstick, so it was kind of weird. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, I say anyways a lot now. Um, the girl. Uh, I, I wrote on it in such a pretty cursive because I didn't want this girl to think I'm some schmuck who can't uh, write his own name legibly, which is still... True, I can't write my name legibly, but you know, good impressions at all. And me being the uh, suave person I am, just uh, drowning with women, I wrote thanks. Not you two, not anything. And I have reasoning for it. I was uh, expecting these girls to both be drunk and like trying to like make fun of me or something. I don't know. I guess I have low self esteem. And I was like, ha ha ha, good one. So I just wrote thanks because I didn't want to seem invested or anything. Cause she was cute. Not the redhead, the uh, my two B girlfriend. And she, I gave the note back, and they kind of, kind of laughed reading it. And uh, Hallie looked so embarrassed when she got it because of her friend. She's not as blunt as her friends are. Um. And they turned around and the. Claudia, the red-headed blunt one, started talking to me, and she goes, so are you too gay? Because my friend uh, has a very, uh, not a feminine voice, but you could you could hear it in his voice, and uh, he goes, well, I am, and then points to me and goes, but he's not? So he was like trying to be a wingman or whatever. <laughs> and I, uh, we started talking that night, uh, I exchanged, I got her Snapchat because uh, I didn't want to seem so forward by getting her number and scare her off. So I got her Snapchat and then right before I'm about to leave, because my mommy was like, come home, it's midnight. It wasn't late. I mean, by my standards, it wasn't late. She was like, come home, I'm worried about you. It was like a Tuesday or something. Um, and it was Tuesday, I called it. And uh, she said, come home. So I left uh, the two girls and my friend there, and I went home. But before I got to leave, she was like, hey, here's my number. So I got her number. And that night, I was like, hey, that was really fun. Thank you. And then the next day, I was like, hey, want to go on a date? Well, we talked a lot that night. We talked some more and she I made a comment about how her job was a model or something and it didn't I didn't mean it to come across as like wow you're so pretty kind of a thing but she took it as that so I was like yeah <laughs> she's not happy about that one uh, what did I say word for word I texted you mm -hmm. or no 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 Okay, so I put a contact picture in your phone. Correct. Before you left. Yes, you did. A selfie. And when the first thing you texted me was that picture is, and then like the OK emoji, like the little finger. And I said, like, something like, haha, thanks. I thought that was a good one. And you responded, have you considered modeling as a backup? Uh, I remember that one. Because she wants to do a lot. I remember. Like, I, like, low-key screamed. Like, 
which wasn't exactly how I intended it to come across. But she was like, God. So it wasn't the most flattering of pictures. <laughs> you could tell that you had a long day and your makeup was, yeah, your lipstick was starting to run and your eyes were. It's still a cute picture, though. Um. <laughs> well, and the truth comes out. Yeah. I love you. Um, yeah, but anyways, so that's how that came to be. And, uh, the next day I asked her out to a date and she goes, yeah, but I have some errands to run first <laughs> after we set up a time and everything. She goes, Oh, I forgot. I have some errands to run. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Ha 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 ha. So, uh, uh, okay, so I so said, no, nah, I'm not. Mm, okay. Is you never to you. told me a Anyway, so she's she's over here saying, or talking about errands. She didn't have any errands to run. Liar, liar, <laughs> plants for hire. I she too. she you know what her you don't know what her errand to run was. She went to see her friend and talk about me. And what what was it? She was nervous. You were nervous because well, I don't know why you'd be nervous of me. A long time. I mean, you were on the shelf. No, I wasn't on the shelf. You sure? That's okay to be on the shelf. I had only been single for three months. <laughs> she was on the shelf. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that's how that happened. We went to uh, a place in Lexington called Shake Shack. Uh, actually, I texted my friend and said, hey, where should I go as a date with this girl? Not the one that we had with that night. It was a different girl. Uh, and she said to try out Shake Shack because there's a new shopping uh, pavilion that just opened up and it had a whole bunch of new stuff and Shake Shack was one of those. So we went to Shake Shack and she didn't eat anything because either she was nervous or already ate one of the two. She, I, I ate french you fries. ate french fries we went to a, go eat lunch together and she ate french fries <laughs> and uh i ate a burger obviously because it's a burger place i didn't get a milkshake because i'm not too fond of milkshakes they're i don't know like i, I want to drink with my milkshake and that's just not worth the effort so i take her out and we have fun and then, did we go to the Arboretum that day also? Yeah. So, there's a Arboretum a, uh, for the University of Kentucky uh, that is just like a little walking trail. It's pretty and, it, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and I, uh, we went there and walked. It was a little rainy that day, uh, but... You know, spending time with her. It was nice. So. I enjoyed myself. She. Uh, seemed like she was nice. On the way to the Arboretum. Her mom called. And. Her mom. Her mom goes. Uh, hey. What are you doing? And Hallie goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is her phone at the time that only worked on speaker before she got a new one and she goes uh she picked up the phone and goes her mom goes hey what are you doing and she, i was quiet i was listening to her she what she said and she goes i'm uh in lexington i think is <laughs> yeah. what she said she's trying to be vague and she uh her mom goes why she goes i'm with a boy and she goes and she was like do i know this boy or something like that What'd she say? She said who? She said who? Yeah, I got that part. Thank you. Uh, and I said Charles. Yeah, she goes, Charles? And she goes, who's Charles? And she goes, some asshat that I met at cookout. She didn't say asshat though. 
She said, S a guy? She goes, yeah. And he goes, a guy I met at cookout? He goes, really? And she was like, we have to talk about this when you got home or something. Trying to, trying to <laughs> yeah. scare me or something. What uh, were you thinking? Were you scared? I was like, oh, great. Not another one of these. <laughs> Because I'm used to, uh, not overbearing moms, I guess, but like, along that line, you, you understand. My mom's chill. Her mom is very chill. Her mom is one of the boys. The Saturdays are for the boys. <laughs> Allie's hearing everything on a delay, so <laughs> she's going to laugh three seconds after I say it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, then a couple days later, we went to the movies, and I was driving her around somewhere, and she goes, she leans over against me, leans on my shoulder as I'm driving, and she goes, so what are we? No, that's not what I said. She didn't say, so what are we, but she goes, what do you tell your friends we are? Now, if anybody in the world will say that that's not the same thing as saying, so what are we? I would love to meet them. Because that's what she did, was say, so what are we? Not explicitly. Not explicitly, but that's exactly what she meant. So, I kind of said, oh, I don't talk about you to my friends, because I didn't. I was like, wow, I don't have to lie to get out of this. <laughs> I said, I don't talk to you, my friends about you. She goes, oh, what would you say? What would you tell them? I was like, this bitch is trying to be all in my business. <laughs> so I said, I, I don't know. I don't really. I was like, what do you want me to tell them? I'm trying to direct it to her because I knew what she was doing. She's not, she's not in any way smooth with her words or anything like that at all. She thinks she's being slick, but she's not. She's not the new slick Rick, and she does not move too quick. Um. <laughs> but after that, I was kind of like, uh, do you want to be my girlfriend? And she's like, yeah, I guess. That is not how How'd it go? How'd it go? You tell me. She, she tried to act like she was all like, yeah, I guess she was nonplussed about it is what she wanted to come across. But like internally she was going, ah, but screaming a lot louder. And I don't really feel like blowing my voice tonight. Is that, is that accurate? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty accurate. How would you describe me? What do you mean? How about I describe you? You are a pretty girl with a skin tone that looks like you're Hawaii Hawaiian. I meant. <laughs> what do you mean? Like my personality, like it just. She does. is the most, most kind soul you could ever meet in your life, and I'm not just saying that because she's my girlfriend, even though I kind of am. She is giving, and she is selfless, and she is just. She puts others before her, and she has a sweet heart for anybody ever. And she's a very giving person. She says. And that's what I told my mom that day. I was like, she's smart and funny, and she has my sense of humor, which I'm sure if any of you ever watched my channel at all, no, my sense of humor is very. <laughs> now that we've been together for a while, she doesn't really have my sense of humor. She just laughs at what I do. Because she's not funny herself. <laughs> she just tries to be funny and it's really cute. <laughs> I'm hilarious, bitch. She's not. Like, she's really not. Hey, no swearing on my Christian server. I go to a Christian school. You do. Also, that's a joke, by the way. That's a, that's a, that's what the kids these days call a mimi. A mimi. You're an idiot. Mimi. Just for the people in the back, mimi. Uh, oh. 
Imagine getting hit with a grenade. I think they're like seven pounds. I would ask Hallie, but she doesn't know. She doesn't know anything about anything that I do. She doesn't care about me. Slightly true. What's it called? An almost. You're, you're almost there. It's almost called M Walk. It's not. So I airsoft. If you go to my YouTube channel, you see that I post videos every now and then. And I have a gun that has M Walk rail system. And she bought me a Magpul. It's a K2. She got the grip part. It's a Magpul. Uh, MVG grip. So it's a medium vertical grip. It goes on M lock. And it's uh, it's very nice, very pretty. And uh, it's tan, which I, that's the only thing tan on the gun. But they didn't have black at the store that I was getting at. And I was kind of impatient because I was tired of holding it on the rail. Not that M lock is uncomfortable to hold it on. It's just I have a, a one. 1.5 to 4.5 time scope on it and if you're trying to aim with it it's just a pain to hold it that way especially if you're uh like leaning it up against like uh a piece of cover kind of a thing like uh balancing it on it because i don't have a bipod because i'm not a scrub <laughs> so it's just annoying but with with the grip it's lovely and there's not a lot of stuff that you can mount to m lock directly you normally have to get a m lock to picatinny and then a rail for that but magpul where they i think they made m lock or something i don't care enough to really know uh they make the uh they make both a hand stop and they make a uh a um uh mvg so i was like oh i don't really need a hand stop because that's not going to help my situation with my hands contorted. So I went ahead and got the... Uh, the... Uh, I'm blanking. The MVG. Which I might... I might, just to keep the, the color kind of back and forth, might switch the stock to a tan one. I'm kind of looking at one right now. It's, uh, it's like... It's labeled as like a sniper scope or sniper stock whatever it's basically the the magpul like 250 dollar one there is an airsoft reproduction one made by i think like avengers and they're not avengers isn't like top quality oh my gosh but for i think it's like 80 instead of the the normal price i'll sure whatever as long as i can fit my batteries i don't really care <sighs> Anything you want to talk about, Hal? Cute. If you want to take a shower, I can do something else. Go on to a different game or something. Scooter down. All tomorrow. Holly, what's this? Thank you. I didn't mean that part. What? What's this called? A gun? A scope? Yep, that's a scope. You can't see me pointing at it, but I'm pointing at the scope. Let's see. I kind of want to like play trivia with Holly. Changing. Do you see what that is? Hold on. Look, baby. Do you see what that is? What's that? The grip. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Siri. <laughs> Scooter down. Hallie's stepfather was ex-military, and Hallie doesn't know anything about nothing. Reloading. Just give me a scowl. A scowl. I don't know. I'm kind of bored with these these classes. Fire up. I've played so much of this. I can. Down clear. I don't know. I don't have live. Down I can't down. really do much. It's a shame. Especially like with games, you get free through live. They're like, nah, you don't have live anymore. You can't play with it. <laughs> Which 
sucks. Xbox, please. Microsoft, please. Oh, that guy's alive. <laughs> Grenade out. I can blow myself up for my own grenade. Will I be done? She went snuggles. Does it say how long I've been going for on there? Where? On there. Um, I can't find it. It's a good thing you're cute, huh? Well, I guess since she wants snuggles, I'll end it. So, thanks for the watching, and I love you, BB. Goodbye. Now we begin the how do I stop it because Hallie's too cute for her own. That's good.